Okay, so following these turtle marks. So I just told you what this turtle right here, right? Then the turtle left, and I'm watching it. And see right here, you can see the claws? Claw, claw, claw. So it's leaving. And then I kind of follow it, and he looks like he went into this, into like nothing. So, come here. Come on, pretty princess. Come here. I want you to dig lightly. Start digging right there. Give me your phone. Come here. That's it. Just like a. There you go. Oh, yeah, nails. My goodness. Okay. So I do all. Ju okay. So just so what you're doing, if that's actually a nest, which it's a good chance, you're feeling for a cavity. So, yeah, keep going. This is where one of the feet was. That's where one of the feet was. Actually, let's make sure you're not wasting your time. Okay, hold on. You're cheating. Oh, I just don't want... All right, keep... Keep... Keep going. Am I going the wrong way? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so... Because this, this might, it'd be getting close now. <laughs> it's nice and slow. Just be aware if you hit anything. Feel like the ground feels nice and warm. At least right here is nice and warm. Oh, All right, let me see. I might be, I might be. Okay, because it's here, here. Uh-huh, right there. Just put your finger right there. Keep going. Does it feel like a cavity? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Right. All right, show that's, me. That's really deep. Yeah, so feel that feel that cavity? Yeah. That's, all right, so maybe. I, oh. oh, I see. Bingo. And that's it. That's okay. really in there. Yeah, huh? So can I dig up like this way too? Oh, we don't want to. All they're doing is, I'm just showing people that's a nice nest. Okay, so this is, that's, we're going to protect that. What do you think? Yeah. So, Tara. And I know this is a snapping turtle egg. You're right. Because it's round. And right there. And this is a giant. Is another nest. Giant. And right there is another mm -hmm. nest. And right there is another nest. And over there is another nest. And that's a nest right here. So, see how my tracking skills? It mm -hmm. made sense, right? Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, we're going to protect this. What are you complaining about? <laughs> How long do the eggs take to hatch? Well, depending on the temperatures, here it gets pretty warm. So we usually dig them up at 50 days in that area, and then they usually hatch in the next couple of weeks at a cooler temperature. All right, cover that up. So I don't have my stakes with me. Keep going. It wasn't stopping. Okay. Pack that. I want you to pack. I want you to pack it. That's that's pretty good because we're gonna cover it further. Because what we have to do is you saw all the human activity here. We're gonna put this here. Start putting some stuff on there. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. Put it right on there. We're just bingo. Well, so this is just my marker. All right, so we're gonna this just kind of we're gonna disguise it. I'll get some more stuff, but people love to. Vandalize this stuff. And those people that have been walking in here don't even know what's going on here, which is great. So we kind of disguise it. Um, you can see all the little turtle marks, little turtle tracks, little turtles wandering around. 
good. All right, finding wood turtle nests is tough. Once you find it, you gotta protect it. And uh, that's if you want them to survive. And you use wire where they can hatch and they can get out. So I luckily have gotten pretty good at finding these nests. So I'm gonna protect these. So that's a wood turtle egg. These were laid last night. You can see that's it's a nice looking egg. Put it right back in the same position. You wanna film bro? <laughs> So the trick is I want to protect this from predators. So what happens is when the turtle lays its eggs, it pees when it's finishing up. And the pee is a tells the predators where the turtle nests are. So what we're going to do, we're going to stake this. Really? Come on. This is supposed to be like this. This is an, so this whole area right here is an area that we have, that's absolutely horrible. It's not going right. We have uh, made for turtles. doing very well as far as a lot of sand, but there's a lot of rocks. Wow. No! So this is just, we want to discourage predators from digging this up. Depending on what the temperatures and stuff, I think this takes about, if we're lucky, in this spot, about 60 days to hatch. So then just kinda, this is a good like safe area. People all know that we are trying to protect Believe it or not, you're on another wood turtle nest almost. Really? Yeah, right there. That's, oh, no. That's, I did that to prevent predators. So what's going to happen, this is going to hatch like normal, but I got to step in a little bit and help it and just make sure nature has a chance to... Uh, successfully do what it's intended to do. So I have another nest right there. That one's like a week and a half old. And I'm gonna protect that too. And then I have some cameras on this. And the cameras kinda just show me what kind of weird animals are coming here. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna mess with that. It's already, I don't wanna monkey with those even a bit. So what's good is after a nest has aged a little bit for a couple weeks or whatever, the smell goes away. And guess what I do when I find these nests? I pee on them. I was just gonna say that, you I pee do. on it. I pee on them. <laughs> yep. It's uh, my friends that I do all the turtle conservation with. They're like, I found a wood turtle nest. And they're like, and let me guess, you, you peed on them. And did, you, did you pee on the Blanding's nest? I've been peeing on snapping turtle nests lately. I've got, uh, 
I got six snapping turtle nests that we've protected. And uh, those we have um, conservation, we have conservation permit. So they, uh, I'm pretty good at finding them. So at that place I found five, we have five nests protected and I found all five nests. And I'm kind of obsessed, but I've gotten pretty good at finding a lot of turtle nests. And uh, it's really awesome when you're protecting the nest and you go there and you don't see other snapping turtles nests dug up. So I keep going back and I haven't seen any snapping turtle nests dug up. So that means that I didn't miss any or, or likely I didn't miss any this uh, time of year. What I do is I go and read all the signs in the sand and stuff like that. Okay, so that's kind of good. Um, yeah, a lot of times I never see these guys ever again. So here's my last one. Where's the, where's the nest, Barb? I was gonna say probably under those rocks. You got it. And I have one more, I, I have, I don't have a cage for that one. Actually, yeah, this one right here. See right here? Mm -hmm. I forgot. I already did this one. Oh. Okay, so I did this one, and we got one more. So, if anybody were to, you know, try this, you gotta make sure, this is like passive conservation, that a turtle can get through. There's ones with a bigger giant hole. Um, I'm a little worried about those because maybe like a raccoon or a mink or whatever can uh, get through it. I did with this one. I didn't put stakes down. This is a little less rocky. And then after I'm done doing this, I have to go off and do Blanding's work. We're, uh, this has been a tough year for us in Blanding's. The weather, I don't know what it is. It just uh, hasn't been the greatest. So I have not had any of these nests get predated like this. And then they hatch and uh, I'm going to go protect one more nest so you can stop right there. All right, here's the milk snake I just found. I'm not doing blanding stuff, but I went over to this trash pile and I'm like, you know, snakes are here, but I just don't have any time to look for them. So I was with Tara and I just go over and what did I do, Tara? Just lifted up one piece of wood. And what I find? An eastern milk snake. This male. Yeah, he's pretty big. He's nice. He's really well behaved. Super well behaved. So it's it's uh we're in the evening right now, so these guys will become active later in the day. They don't really like it too hot. So this is very much a nighttime active animal. So some of them will start coming out, but this guy came up to the top and I found them right under this board and that is exactly where we're gonna let him go. Hi buddy, can I get you to... There you go. Thank you for allowing me the pleasure. <laughs>